Hi, my name's Ben and I'm a spiral trainer. And in this video, we're going to look at one of the pro features of Quickfire. It's called Step. And it allows teachers to add steps to questions. That might be feedback that they're giving to the class, or it could be just that a question has a series of uh, steps that you need to outline within one question. So let's look at how that works. We're going to open up a quick fire. And we're going to open up a quick quick fire again. And I'm going to choose um, the class that I chose uh, created last time, which was Maths 1. So here Susie was already part of that class, so I'm going to let her join. And I'm going to use this on my device as well, so you can see two students working on the same activity. And this student is called Dave. OK, so Susie and Dave are in. I'm going to title it Model Maths 1, because we're going to sh create some models within a maths question. OK, let's go. So the question is, Fred has five boxes, James has three boxes. How many boxes do they have all together? I'm going to say model using the bar method. Okay. So that question is going to appear on the student's portal and I'm going to create it as a canvas. So here I want them to send me a picture using the bar method that I've just taught them. So here we have five, three, and I want to know how many do they have in total. Let's post that. I'll quickly do the same on my phone. OK, so I can see that uh, Two questions, two answers have been submitted. Susie and Dave have come up. Let's have a look at those answers. And here are our pictures. So, yep, they both got the method right. We're going to correct it. But now I'm going to add a step, because I want the actual answer. So I'm just going to write in here, give me the answer. And this is going to be a text format, because I want to have it as a text format. We'll press play, and here you can write the second part of this answer, which is the answer, which is 8. We've posted that, and here we can see that both students have answered 8. That's correct. Great, and both students got it right. So that's how you create a step within a question. Now, we're going to finish this because the real power of this comes in the report section. So here you can see that this question has two steps. It has a pictorial element answering this question. And then this is the second step. It's the second step. It says, give me the answer. And this is a text question. So that's how step can be used to answer different steps within a question. Thank you.